What is the crack, lads? We are back with episode four of our Master League series with Manchester United. The rebuild is on. The Bobby Bubba Butty era is upon us. We had a disaster in the last episode, lads. If you want to go back and check that out, do. But I would advise you not to. I, I actually don't want you to. It was an absolute disgrace of a performance from the team. And a few heads are going to have to roll. We need to change a couple of things. Um, but I lay a lot of the blame with myself. I set the team up wrong. I wasn't concentrating. So we're trying to get back to winning ways in the Premier League today. We are going to be playing Southampton. So we're going to get straight into that match and uh, see you guys at kickoff in just a minute. All right, lads. So we're playing against Southampton. Now we've gone for a slightly modified formation after the last episode because we got absolutely pummeled by Norwich. Go back and check that out if you haven't already. But yeah, we needed to make a couple of changes. But literally, Les, my team has been devastated by either bad player form or else the international break with the stamina. So yeah, we're gone for a, a kind of a three at the back. Evra is going to be playing left mid, kind of a left wing back style. Uh, we've got Nani on the right, Carrick and Fletcher in midfield, Ronaldinho. Well back is up front with Wayne Rooney as well, who's been on top form. But we've gone for three at the back. A back three of Harty, Smalling and Vidic. Ferdinand is out, as you see there for Southampton. Um, they've got some fairly nice players there. Obviously, Schneiderlin, uh, Lalana, uh, Jose Fonte as well is going to be a player that they that that will probably be hard to get past. But this is the squad we we've, we've gone for. Three at the back, three kind of in the middle, and then we've got a four man kind of alternating attack. Fletcher will obviously be a bit more defensive, but. Yeah, let's crack on and let's see what we can do with this squad because I definitely think now that uh, I'm going to need your help to sign a couple of players. I mean, I just don't have a, a big enough squad that when two or three of my players are down, it's like playing with a different team. So we're going to try and concentrate here a little bit now. And yeah, the one thing I don't want is to just be rushing around. I think last episode that I was playing, it was just a bit of a haphazard performance from me. So I just want to be a little bit more comfortable on the ball a little bit use the ball a little bit more as well oh, that's a terrible pass oh Rooney nearly intercepts I just want to stay tight at the back even though we are playing three at the back I do want to stay a little bit more tight well on Smalling haven't really played Smalling yet so happy to give him a chance oh lovely Nanny got the overlap but well back what a pass from Nanny and the finish it's a brilliant start for us lads what a start that little through the ball kind of uh, pass is always there it seems to be I remember in Pez 2013 oh buddy boy come on buddy we're going all the way he's been absolutely raging with the performance last week but he's back what a pass there just not closed down and Welbeck slots at home 1-0 oh, boys have settled in now oh come on Danny Welbeck don't rest in your laurels now Vidic need to make it lovely Vidic passing is a bit off lads Fletch, oh Rooney, why don't you take it? It's a free, it's a free in. <laughs> Nanny, no Nanny can hit him. Nanny, oh, what a goal from Nanny, lads. It's been a while since I've taken a free kick in Pez 2013. I think that's our first one. But we haven't lost the knack. What a finish from Nanny, and that should seal it, lads. Whew, a bit of pressure taken off Buddy's shoulders. So there's been calls in the in the media, a few of you guys in the comments saying that Buddy does not have the cojones for this job, but he's going to prove you all wrong yet, lads. What a finish. Just playing some nice football now. Nanny. Oh, lads, Nanny's feet. Ronaldinho. Rooney. Rooney! <laughs> And that's where I've been missing out, lads. I think I just need to quicken up my pace, quicken up the game, and just shoot on sight because the goalies seem to not be able to save anything. Rooney's got 90 shot power, 98 shot accuracy. Brilliant pass in from Ronaldinho. It's a simple goal from out wide in central. Pass from Ronaldinho. Nanny rips. Pass the ball back into Ronaldinho. First time pass, first time shot, and it's in the back of the net. Look at this for a touch. Rooney, boom, boom. 3-0, we're back baby, we are back. Get up Vidic, lad. 
Oh, Smalling. That could be a red. Jesus, Butcher Bay was open there. Absolute Butcher Bay on Lalana. Oh my days, that is, that's a leg breaker. Chris Smalling, how he's not sent off for that. Man, we goalkeeping, scared him. Smalling's been good today, lads. I tell you that, he's been very, very solid. Fletcher's been good too. Cleverly. Well back. Now, on the run again, well back. Don't just stand up looking at me. Cleverly. Cagua. Well back. There's four. What a goal, lads. Welbeck's movement is pretty decent. Oh, he's after put, he's after getting absolutely butchered, but he's getting up now. He realizes he scored. That's it. Shake it off, Welbeck. <laughs> Oh, we're through again with Cleverly. What play? Cleverly! <laughs> what a goal! And it seems to be shoot on sight, lads. Genuinely. Everything is going in today. Simple breakaway. What a return to form. I mean, we had to. We had to after the last game. A buddy will be delighted with that one. This is going to be a tough title race, lads. I can already sense that Arsenal, Tottenham and City are going to be strong teams. Um, I expect probably Liverpool to bounce back as well, maybe Chelsea. But yeah, this could be this could be a good one, lads. All right, lads, match two, fixture two of the group stage of the Champions League. We are playing Dynamo Kiev. We've got a weird team out. I hope I haven't gone too crazy, but Vidic, Ferdinand, Evra, Raphael, all down in form. So we've had to kind of rejig things. We'll show you the squad here in a second. But um, yeah, Giggs is back in. Ashley Young is back in. Uh, I think we have Anderson back in as well. Welbeck keeps his spot up front. Welbeck is, is on fire, so we're going to give him another chance. But yeah, this should be a good game, lads. This should be a good game. As I said, there is the team. We're playing a three at the back again. See how it works out. Let me know what you guys think. Karak, Nani, Young, Giggs, Anderson, Welbeck and Rooney. Welbeck is just behind Rooney. Ron Jones. Harty just takes over, so give me the ball. I won't make a mistake with it. We pass Nanny. Oh, give me a bit too much to do there, Nanny, didn't you? Oh, Rooney. Rooney. Oh! <laughs> it's shoot on sight, lads. It's shoot on sight. I forgot how effective the long range shooting was in PES 2013, but since we've started to do it, we've just been scoring for fun. Seriously, we've been scoring for fun. Like, Rooney has no right to win this ball back and score that goal. Look at that. On his left foot, going away from the goal. It actually looked really like Rooney's strike. Beautiful curl. We'll take it, lads. Let me know in terms of, like, the highlight packages and stuff. Do you guys like the way I'm doing the episodes? Maybe, like, two, two matches per episode and then a lot of highlights? Or would you rather see three matches per episode? Um... And, like, the 10-minute matches are, are quite long, I think, when I'm sitting down to play, like, two, three matches. But uh, let me know. You know, we could... Rooney. Oh, he's just outside. We could do, you know, like, four, five-minute matches and have the highlights where it's pretty much just the goals and any really clear-cut chances. Let me know what you guys think. Because uh, I do want to keep the episodes to about, like, maybe 12 to 15 minutes. Um... But let me know, you know, there might be too many highlights in it, like per episode now as we kind of start to get into the episodes. Why Carrick? I was thinking maybe, you know, if we want to keep the matches at, uh, at 10 minutes. Oh, Rooney was gone. We could do three matches and just have a few highlights. Um, oh no, Harty, you're my last hope, Harty. What a save. Oh, Harty, big mistake. He'll learn from that, lads. Don't worry. He'll learn from that. They're man marking Rooney. Oh, brilliant. Carrick has been superb today. No! Whoa! That's how easy it can happen. He was offside anyway. Never in doubt. It wasn't right. Really. 
Rosie. Welbeck. Burba. Burba. It's too easy. And there is the sealer, lads. Sealer dealer. Burba, his first goal for us this season. And it comes just when we need it, lads. Get up. I'm hoarse. <coughs> Walk through. Oh, what a tackle! That's a tackle that's going to win us something this season, lads. What a tackle. It's a huge result, though, in the Champions League, lads. We will take it. We'll take it. We're back to winning ways. Some cracking games here, but, yeah, we needed that, lads. We needed an episode where I redeemed myself because I was a disgrace the last episode. Shocking. So you've got Juventus winning in Group A. So do Bayern Munich. Barcelona and Arsenal continue their winning ways in Group B. Group C, City and Braga draw. Cluj and Malaga have a thriller 4-3 to Malaga. They come out on top. Group D, Chelsea beat Shakhtar 2-0. And Porto beat Olympiacos FC 3-0. Group E, Valencia take a scalp off Inter while Galatasaray fall to Bayern Leverkusen. Group F, PSG lose to Ajax. And AC Milan remain undefeated in that group as far as I know with a 1-0 win. Group G, Real Madrid beat Zena 2-0, 2-1, and Tottenham Hotspur beat Club Bruges 2-0, and then us, United, and Benfica share the spoils with a 2-0 victory in each of our games. So I think that the players that I'm looking for at the moment are all on my favourites list. So we've got Kevin De Bruyne, who again fits that bill. Um, it says that he shouldn't be a difficult deal to pull off, so I should be able to get him for about maybe 10, 15 million, which is an absolute bargain. Um, and he is up on the transfer list. So Chelsea actually are taking transfers for him. So if I was to put in a cheeky bid for him, I think I'd get him very, very easily. Um, and his stats are insane, man. His stats are so good in this game. He's only 21 years of age. Um, you can see his speed is still there as well. His kicking power, his passing is incredible. And I would be playing him as a CMF, you know, as, as my replacement for Scolzi. Next up, we'd have Verratti, who again, Verratti says that it shouldn't be a difficult deal to pull off. He's on the loan list at PSG. He's only 19 years of age. And again, he would be my kind of my kind of mini Roy Keane, I think, um, leader, defensive midfielder. Uh, Pato's going to be a different one. Now, we've entered negotiations with Pato from the last episode, and you guys were saying it. I think Pato is my main guy that I want to get, but I think it's going to be extremely difficult to... Uh, to, to get him to be honest with you lads he's going to be extremely hard to get he always was in the games until he was like win a title or something like that Munayin obviously again any offer is likely to be snubbed he's more of a, a guy that I'd I just have as a as a as a kind of Pez legend for me we could get Deco as a as a rotational player he'd come no problem for about five or six million Neymar any offer we make is likely to be snubbed 86 overall 19 years of age Neymar would be unbelievable if I got him um, that's somebody to keep an eye on as well I think he'd really suit if I had Neymar on the left Nani on the right um, do I have enough defensive capabilities there but Neymar Ronaldinho and Nani would be a serious attack and trio for my midfielders and uh, my wingers and my attack and midfielder and then Rooney and Pato up front would be unreal uh, Hummels again Hummels is very relatively easy to sign um, again he's probably a player that I would have to boost a lot of um, speed into it because his speed isn't the best, but he would be, you know, an insane upgrade and he's only 22 as well. So let me know what you guys think. And then Samuel Eto'o, we are in negotiations with Eto'o as well, just as a bit of a backup plan, just to see how much Eto'o would actually cost to bring in. I know he's only 81 overall, lads, but what I'm looking at is the 92 top speed and the 91 explosive power as well as 86 dribble speed. That's the kind of speed I need as an injection into the squad. But let me know if there's anyone else. Let me know all about, you know, if you want me to go in for Neymar or De Bruyne or Verratti. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to let you guys draw this uh, <coughs> transfer list up. Excuse me. But uh, yeah, that is it for me, lads. Another episode in the books. Let me know as well. Would you guys like to see more matches at like five minutes and like more highlights um, per, or less highlights per match? So like maybe there'll be like five or six highlights per match but more matches covered. So we could cover maybe five or six matches per episode. Um, let me know what you guys think, because I do have a plan for the cup matches. I don't think I'm going to play all the FA Cup matches or the Community Shield matches. Um, I'm just going to like kind of sim a couple of them until we get to the later stages or whatever. Um, but let me know. All right, lads, that is it for me. I'll be back quite soon. Hope you're enjoying the series. Let me know any feedback in the comments below. Good luck.